Hi guys, Miss Nikki back here again. This is St Library Lobsters, but we are doing what is called Tinker Lab Boxes. This is actually a little thing that I came up with. It is part of Library Lobsters, but it's something that you would have to register for. And when you come in to get your Tinker Box package, basically, you'll get all this stuff. You got a little surprise box here of tech take apart parts. You get one of these. You get this bag of goodies. Look at all this cool stuff that you can use and play with. And then you'll get it. This box here, you'll get it and you can put it together and have it for your little tinker box if you want. If you got a shoe box or any other kind of box that you want to use, use that. That's totally fine. You'll get a cool bigger piece of like a tech take apart thing. Um, I did not send this one home because I could not get in there and get some of those crazy wires out of there. So I thought it'd be cool to show you though. This is like a really old alarm clock radio thing. I took the front piece off. Some of you guys will get some of those smaller pieces, but look at all the workings in there. Pretty cool, huh? So, but yeah, you will be able to get your stuff. You can start registering anytime on May 3rd or after. So, but yeah, always make sure if you've got safety glasses, put those on if you're messing with this kind of stuff. And always have parent or guardian help you, especially if you're working with like a hot glue gun. This, I use this a lot when I was making my little handy dandy thing here. And you got tools. You might need that because I, taking all that stuff apart, look at all these cool pieces. It's like little screws and nails just chunks of plastic. I mean, all different kinds of stuff that you guys can use and create and make whatever you want. You can try to invent something or just make a goofy little box thing like I did. You can use this for like putting notes in or pencils or trinkets or whatever you want. I just played around and made it my own and that's what you guys will be able to do too so on may 3rd or after register pick up your tinker lab box stuff and you'll be all set to go i'm gonna read a book now thanks all right guys got a couple different books here i thought they both looked really interesting there's the last notebook of leonardo by bb wurge or the magnificent flying baron estate by eric bauer so we're gonna go with this one because this sounded pretty funny already. I don't know if it's technically a funny book, but we'll go with that for a minute. So real life is stranger than a talking squirrel dream. January 25th, 1891. I had the talking squirrel dream again that night. And for those of you wondering, yes, it is exactly what it sounds like. In my dream, I'm given a pet squirrel that can talk. I have that dream a lot. I can't really say why. Maybe it's because I'm lonely. Maybe it's because I secretly wish I had some magic in my life. Or maybe it's because I have a terrible habit of eating beans and hot chilies on fry bread with hard cheese before I go to bed at night. I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably because of the cheese. Anyway, in my dream, my Aunt Dorcas comes bursting into my room while I'm reading in my bed. Hello there, my little Waldo, she sings in her high and wobbly voice, knowing full well that I hate my first name more than I hate pickled pig's feet for supper. Your parents have a little gift for you. I roll my eyes as I bury myself under my co ugh, cowboy novel. Don't you want to guess what it is, she sings? No. Guess anyway. Go away. I'm going to keep singing until you show some interest in the surprise. La la la. Whoa, whoa. Listening to my aunt sing is like being kicked in the head by a bull over and over again. Actually, no, it's worse. The kick would at least knock you unconscious. With Aunt Dorcas, you're forced to listen to her dreadful voice until you either run away or stuff your ears with mashed potatoes. This is torture, Aunt Dorcas. Womp womp bee, she continues to sing. I can't take it anymore. Okay, fine. You win. Please stop, I say. What is it? What's the surprise? It's a present from your parents for your birthday, she sings. She presents me with a little cage that has a sheet draped over it. I slowly get out of bed and put my cowboy novel on my nightstand. I pull the sheet away and I see a squirrel 
sitting in the cage. It's a little gray squirrel with a puffy tail, aside from the fact that it's wearing tiny oval-shaped reading glasses and a miniature white coat. It looks like a perfectly ordinary squirrel. My parents got me a squirrel for my birthday, I say, shaking my head in disbelief. Three years ago, I asked them for a dog for my birthday and they gave me a plant. Two years ago, I asked for a bow and arrow and they gave me new shoes. This year, I asked for a book and they gave me a squirrel. They always give me the opposite of what I asked for. How is a book the opposite of a squirrel, Aunt Dorcas asked. I don't know, it just is. Here is where the dream gets weird. Happy birthday, WB, says the squirrel in my father's voice, I'm guessing. Oh, I can't. <laughs> yep, I'm so shocked that the squirrel has spoken that I drop its cage onto the floor. All right, we're going to leave it at that, guys. Sounds pretty cool. So hopefully you can come in and check it out or maybe check out this one. Thanks. Bye.